just want to um, pick your brains on this whole issue of mental health issues. I mean, obviously we know what happened to the island. We must be really feeling for the guy right now. Yeah, definitely. It's not nice uh, knowing that one of your fellow players are going through such a tough time. Um, but it's been there in football. It's just people did not speak about it. I experienced something similar, you know, but not as maybe as bad as him, where, you know, you just don't want to play football anymore. You're just in a dark space. Things are not going your way. Um, you just want to lock yourself in a room, you know. So, you know, my, I can just give my love and support to him. And, you know, I know he's a, a man of God and he believes in God. So, you know, God will get him through this. And when you had the problems, how did you deal with it? <laughs> you know, you, you have your family, you know, but you don't have them as well because, you know, they're back home in PE far away, you know, and uh, obviously I had my girlfriend and my son and, you know, just seeing, you know, their faces, you know, would give me that boost, you know, to keep going, to keep fighting, you know, do it for the people back home who believe in me, you know, and who's, you know, paved this way for me, you know, throughout my career since I was a little kid, you know, and then, you know, just getting a random text or a message from someone in the street, you know, that I inspire them, you know, just gives me that extra hope, you know, to keep going. And then, you know, eventually you just come out of that, you know, and maybe you start, you know, playing well and, you know, things go well for you and then you just, you know, overcome that you know but it's it's tough you know it's it's, it's very tough because we go through so much and people put us in you know a certain bubble where you know everything should be perfect but that's not the case at the end of the day we are human beings as well um, we also suffer pain when we lose we suffer more pain than you know everyone else you know because this is our job you know and we treat it as a job you know so when we don't play well or when things are not going well, I mean, you, we suffer, you know, and we suffer internally and there's no one there for us because we must be the, you know, the, the, the strong ones for everyone because, you know, that we get painted in this picture that, you know, we've got the perfect life and we don't. I mean, if I can speak of the last three months that I had personally, you know, a cousin of mine got shot, uh, my mother was in an accident and before the final on Friday, you know, I get a message that my best friend committed suicide. You know, and it's things like this that, um, you know, can, can, can push one, you know, into, you know, this dark room and this dark space. Because I feel, you know, like I let them down, you know, I wasn't maybe there to help, you know. So it's just a lot of things that, you know, one goes through. But because you get painted in a certain picture, you can't express your emotions. And uh, obviously you guys operate in a highly pressured environment. Um, do, 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 do you guys feel that enough has been done to, to deal with this issue? No, not at all. Not at all. People always make mention about it that we need to get psychologists involved, you know, but they don't really do it. I think some clubs, they, they do have that initiative where they'll bring in a psychology when they feel you need it. And I think we need more of that. You know, players go through so much and people should not forget where we come from. We all come from the same environment, type of environment where it's posit poverty, you know, you living 10 people in one bedroom house, you know. So we all, you know, we're from South Africa and we know all these experiences that one is facing. But now, because I'm a professional player, people think, you know, I've got this perfect life and it's not the case, you know. So I've also got my family back home, friends that are struggling, you know. And like I said, three days ago, I lost one of my best friends to suicide and you know it's it's, it's painful it's hurting but um, maybe you know the the league or SAFA you know can can do more you know because I mean social media has taken over the world now and we see all these negative comments and things that gets thrown at us and it's not nice you know but you need to be you know strong you know as an individual but sometimes it becomes so tough you know that you can't deal with it so that's when you need psychologists you need friends and family so hopefully you know that something can be done you know we we helping the players and maybe lastly um also it becomes, it becomes important that um, if you have a problem uh, you, you, need to, you need to reach out 
because sometimes we, we can't know if we are going through something. Yeah, definitely. We you need to open up, but we don't come from a society where you are allowed to talk. You know, you must keep things and put it under the the rug and just move on. You know, you'll they'll, you'll be called a lot of names. You know, they'll say, ah, you small boy. You know, things like this. You are weak. You know, so we don't come from a society that allows you to open up and express your true feelings. So I'm just glad, you know, that Lyle Foster, you know, took a stance and, and came out. You know, hopefully this will encourage even more players, even, I mean, even coaches, you know, because coaches go through the exact same as well. So hopefully, you know, this will inspire the next generation to talk out and express when things are, are not going well and when you need help.